it's Mr. Softies and Doc One Two Six, and today we are going to talk all about books, books. and books. That's that's what we're gonna do yeah, today. We're gonna so. talk about that. Uh, do you know when books were made? Well, I don't. There isn't an exact date of when people were like, "Hey, let's switch to paper." But the first writing ever of recording stuff was in Sumerian times when they were like, oh, like cavemen. Like cavemen wrote stuff on the walls, right? Well, yeah. Well, you could call that writing, yeah. So let's say during all of humanity, writing stuff was a staple of how we communicated and how we switched information. And now it's gone to storytelling. Yeah, so it's that's gone to story storytelling, and there's different ways of storytelling, like chapter books. This is a book that I've been reading. Uh, it's called The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan. I love this author. It's really good. Hmm. There's also, com uh, sorry, there's also graphic novels. Have you been reading any graphic novels lately, or chapter books? I've been reading a good, I've read a good chapter book. It's called The Clone Codes. I don't know the author, but it's very good. And both of you are going to check it out. Okay. So, so what's the difference between a chapter book and a graphic novel? I'm so glad you asked. So, the difference between a chapter book and a graphic novel. Some chapter books, like, for instance, this book, this book, The Lost Hero, or another famous book you've probably heard of, Harry Potter. Hmm. The difference between those is that at the beginning of the chapter, there's a picture. But at the at the beginning of these chapters, there's no picture. Hmm. So it's basically author's choice, but the difference between a chapter book and a graphic novel is, well, Say uh, you can't really make out the uh, what the person is like in the head. Uh, you say, pretend this book is Dracula, and this is the graphic novel of Dracula. In just give me a second. In this book, Dracula. Uh, one moment, please. I'm so sorry. It's fine. Wait. We have so, plenty of time. Uh, this is Dracula. This is one of the pages. Dracula is an old man, but really, uh, Dracula is actually this guy. I don't know when they switched, but there's many pictures of Dracula. And so, if you can't picture him, you can uh, read the graphic novel. It has some pictures. Or, have, or nowadays, if you're just like... Wondering what a character looks like, you can just search it out. You can just search but it out. But that's no fun. <laughs> yes. Uh, are there any questions that you want to ask me? So, like, like in newspapers, there are, like, comic strips. Uh -huh. So what's the difference between a comic strip and a graphic novel? I'm so glad you asked as well. Wow. So, graphic novels can have many chapters. But, for instance, The Peanuts, my all-time favorite. The Peanuts, they they could have a whole entire book out of and just have these comic strips. But each comic strip is divided by the title right oh, here. So they have like their own thing going on. They have they their, have own, their own story. Oh, ah, yes. I see now. I like the Peanuts. I drew this. Uh, it is a uh, he's Snoopy. He isn't very well drawn. I can admit, but, but he does look like Snoopy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks for watching. We hope you have a wonderful day. Subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. But before you end up, we've just covered a tiny portion, like a tiny little divot on the icebergs of books. So go to your public library, read a bunch of great books and bestsellers, like, I don't know, Harry Potter, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, etc. And have a great day. See you later, alligator. Yeah. Goodbye.